There's soap all over the window now. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Brock side. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm making a video outside the confines of my home for once. Uh, yeah, so uh, I've been getting requests lately to do some more like Blu-ray hunting videos and things like that. And uh, well, since Blu-ray releases are gonna be a little not too great for the next couple months, I figured, uh, you know what, summer's here, it's time to go have some adventures, go look for some movies and some Funko Pops because I've been about that life for a few months now. So uh, yeah, we're just outside one of my local Goodwills, we're gonna go in there, see if they got anything cool. We're also gonna hit up some Dollar Trees, because I got some new movies in I've heard. Uh, you know, maybe another Goodwill or two, we're gonna hit up the mall and uh, yeah, should be a pretty fun time, so uh, let's get into it. Okay, not much in the way of Blu-rays so far. I did see the Lorax in 3D though. Not exactly the world's greatest Dr. Seuss movie and uh, yeah, for $4.99, uh, that's uh, That's gonna be a no for me, Chief. Not seeing too much in the toys so far, but I did see this thing here, the uh, Shrek Swamp Party DVD game. Interesting. Ah, oh, comes a little, uh, little Fiona figurine in there. Kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, all the Goodwills in the area did this thing where they totally changed the design of it all. So all the toys just up on these racks here, which makes it really difficult to sort through things. Okay, well, step number one was not successful. Uh, yeah, not much going on in there. I actually haven't been in that one in quite a long time because all the Goodwills finally start opening back up. But uh, yeah, not many Blu-rays or anything like that, but sometimes in this Goodwill there are quite a few of them. And uh, yeah, no Funko Pops or anything exciting there, so stop number one is a bust, but we have many, many, many more places to go today. So one of them is bound to be good. All right, well, stop number two is at Dollar Tree here. So uh, yeah, every like month, every other month or so, they get a bunch of uh, new DVDs and Blu-rays for a dollar, and uh, I've heard they've gotten some in. And uh, this is actually like one of the best Dollar Trees uh, around. So if anybody's gonna have them, this one will. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, see what uh, they got when we get in there. Well, never mind. They're closed, apparently. Yeah, I guess they're uh, doing some sort of uh, inventory thing today, so they're not going to be open. This day is not going uh, quite as I expected it to, so <laughs> I guess uh, on to stop number three, which is the mall, so it's bound to be a little bit more like there, right? <laughs> God, I hope so. At the mall, I know for a fact the stores I want to go to in said mall are actually open. Shouldn't be any excuse for closed inventory days or something, so hopefully I uh, won't come out of the store empty-handed. Okay, so I'm inside Box Lunch right now. I've just stopped at Brad's Toys. A couple things I'm thinking about, but I wanted to check out here first. Uh, I was gonna go to Hot Topic too, but there are only like two people in at a time. It's like, I don't need to go to Hot Topic that badly. So over here in the pop section, I got lots of uh, Marvel ones like Doctor Doom, Human Torch, and Galactus. It's cool looking stuff. Uh, I got the Black Widow pops here which these are kind of cool but the only one I really want is a David Harbour's one that'd be pretty cool so they got this disenchantment pop here the king it's only seven dollars kind of cool but I think if I was gonna get a pop of an enchantment character it wouldn't be the king okay well just got out of the mall and uh, yeah I went to a couple stores I went to uh, Brad's toys and collectibles like you saw there went to box lunch was gonna go to hot topic but I guess they're practicing some social distancing rules for only like letting two or three people in the store at one time and there was already a quite the line out there so I'm like yeah, I'll just I'll just come back another day but uh yeah I actually yeah, did pick something up and of course it was a pop 
Uh, but yes, I went to Brad's Toys, went to Box Lunch, and then I went back to Brad's Toys because uh, there were a couple at Brad's Toys that I actually like really, really wanted, but I only have enough in the budget for one pop today just because trying to save money this month because I'm saving up for something uh, really cool, which I'll probably get into in the next couple weeks or so. But uh, yeah, so they had two different pops there that I was really eyeing up and I couldn't decide which one to get. The first one was a Bugs Bunny pop, and the other was Professor Poopy Pants from Captain Underpants, which is super cool. You know, if you've seen the channel for a while, uh, you probably know why I would want that one. But uh, yeah, I just couldn't decide which one I was going to get. It's like Bugs Bunny, Professor Poopy Pants. Bugs Bunny, Professor Poopy Pants. Bugs Bunny, Poopy Pants. But in short, I picked up Professor Poopy Pants because uh, this is just a really cool pop. Uh, they only made two Captain Underpants pops, uh, Captain Underpants himself, which actually is a uh, kind of expensive, weirdly, and uh, Professor, uh, no George and Harold, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, yeah, just look at that, it's really, really cool, uh, got the glasses and all of that, and uh, yeah, I just figured out uh, this would make a really cool, like, uh, background piece for the next eventual Captain Underpants video I make, and this is just super duper cool. If I can get my hands on the uh, Captain Underpants one eventually, that'd be really cool. Okay, Dollar Tree number two. People are going in there, so this one is open this time. And uh, you can't see it over here, but they have the uh, new DVD Blu-ray sign for the weekly WoW thing, so that's a good sign. Well, they do have movies here, but I think this is just everything they've had from the last couple of times they've had movies in, because I'm not really seeing anything that, uh, other people have found. Uh, so there's this thing, the U Part 2 sequel to The Storm. Uh, looks like it's an ESPN movie. Not really my thing, so I'm probably not gonna get that. Uh, Pete's Christmas. This one's got a uh, Zachary Gordon in it, the guy that played uh, Greg Heffley in the first three Diary of Wimpy Kid movies. Interesting, but uh, not exactly the Christmas season. See what we got in here. Oh, but that's a bunch of DVDs. There's nothing in there I even desire to get. Okay, just left another Goodwill. Uh, couldn't really film in there. Too many people around. Too many witnesses. But uh, yeah, actually bought a movie. I'll uh, show you more later. So if you want to see some more videos like this, you can check out this playlist right over here. And if you want to see what YouTube recommends you watch from me next, you can check out that video uh, right down there. And of course, subscribe if you live, talk, and buy movies. And we'll see you on the back of side.